a six cents out of a nickel thought of the day. Commuting by bike can be incredibly satisfying. And whether you do it once in a while or whether you do it every day, there are things you need to remember uh, to make sure you have a safe and, and decent commute. First of all, let's start off with the bike. Uh, you don't need a big fancy bike. Uh, just any old bike will do. When I started commuting uh, by bike, I just bought a basic, cheap, bottom of the line Canadian tire bike. I think it was like $100 at the time. That'll do the trick. Certain things you're gonna want out of a bike before you actually start commuting with it. First of all, you want a wide seat. All right, so maybe a backrest is, a, is an option, but you want a wide seat. The last thing you want to do is show up at your destination and have the, uh, the, the seat riding up your behind or your behind hurting. That's something that's a major problem. You want a bell, uh, mostly for pedestrians, but um, you know, because cars aren't really going to pay attention to a bell. Uh, if you want cars to pay attention, you need to get one of those air horns that people have in like an arena or a car horn. You can wire that up really easy and uh, then you can scare the living daylights out of them. I also recommend a speedometer or odometer. Um, part of that is it's motivation. It gets you to actually you know, keep going. Um, there's going to be parts along your commute where you're going to be tempted to give up and uh, that just really helps keep you motivated. It's like I've made it this far, I can make it the rest of the way. Um, another thing you're going to want is a blinky. And mine is on the back of my helmet and controlled by this remote right here. Um, there's a, a, mine even has directional signals. Uh, that's not really necessary, but you really should have a blinky. Um, and, and then some sort of a light on the front if you're actually, uh, if you're actually uh, riding in the dark. And of course a helmet, I mean, they're not mandatory, but it is a really good idea. I mean, you, you smash your head against the, uh, uh, the cur a curb or against the pavement, you're really going to be happy you had a helmet. Um, how often is that going to happen? Probably once in a lifetime, but that may be the one time that uh, allows you to walk away instead of like being in a wheelchair. Another thing you're going to want is a lock. Any old lock will do, but make sure you lock it up. If, uh, if it's not in a, in a secure area where you can where you can take it inside, um, you definitely want your bike to be there uh, when you're when you come back out. Uh, tires, you don't necessarily want these kinds of tires. Uh, yeah, they're slick. They do make you go faster, but uh, they're very uh, susceptible to uh, perils on the road, like uh, screws or pieces of glass. That's something that uh, is definitely a problem with these things. They're so flat. The surface of these tires is so flat. The glass really has nowhere to go but just into the tire. Knobby mountain bike tires are a lot more resistant to flats and road hazards. And then that leads me to the next thing. You want, um, you're going to want some kind of a patch kit or tool set. Uh, they can be purchased inexpensively from a dollar store or Walmart or whatever's close by you. And lastly, a piece of safety equipment for recumbents, a uh, flag. Uh, you can either get a, a flag off of Amazon for, you know, 15, 20 bucks, or you can get a, um, get a broom handle from the dollar store and, uh, you know, go to the thrift store, get your, get a largest pair of granny panties you can find, or or a pair of yellow long johns and attach them to the uh, to the mop handle, you know the the kind that used to be white, and then um, you're you're highly visible. Everyone will see you then. You might get laughed at, but uh, at least you're seen and you didn't get run over, or just by the flag. That's, that's what I would do. Anyhow, that's all the time I have for today. Stay tuned tomorrow when I continue this conversation. I hope this was helpful to um, help you get started on safe commuting with your bicycle. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell for more content. Thank you very much. Until next time.